Welcome back to my channel. Today we're discussing unisex fragrances. I'm so excited because I have never discussed this topic before on its own and I do have my perfumes from my perfume collection that will be eye candy in this video but I will suggest some ones that I do not have in my collection that are great unisex fragrances. Unisex fragrances are fragrances that work for both male and female men and women some perfumes are marketed towards females only and some perfumes are marketed towards men only and others are right in between for both sexes and those are the ones we call unisex fragrances as we all know it all comes down to personal preference there are some fragrances that are geared to men but smell amazing and you know uh, attract other women for different occasions vibes and things like that and sometimes you know you might like a scent on a man but you know you don't have a man who sprays that perfume around so you casually wear it on yourself so you get to enjoy the perfume as well that is not a problem do what you want whatever makes you happy and as we also know perfume accords can be mismatched in female geared fragrances and male fragrances as well ingredients are unisex <laughs> ingredients there is no gender to fragrances really it's personal preference now Paco Rabanne 1 million for men you know I already have the lady million but the 1 million for men I will try and put a picture up here is deeper and darker and sweeter and so I thought that it would be great if I wore it as well because the ingredients are delicious it would smell amazing on a man but it's a scent that I feel a woman can wear as well if you're into that type of scents another scent is aqua de palma it's another male geared fragrance but it's so fresh and lemony and almost very juicy yeah it would smell amazing on a man but i think it would also smell amazing on me and you wouldn't really know if you're wearing it at the right occasion in the whole fresh category of fragrances um i did mention that i have versace dylan blue it's just great you know lemony apple goodness but um it's definitely unisex in my opinion and so is the male version of this fragrance on a man this women's version would smell amazing as well and i think the bottle is also unisex the male bottle is definitely male perfume looking but this is a unisex bottle in my opinion but yeah great clean scent for men and women so definitely unisex in my opinion another clean fresh unisex perfume is light blue i own and love the intense only the original mm, didn't sit well with me it made me feel a bit sick but um, I've always loved the intense one and I think this is unisex Rudy yes this is unisex try it and let me know how you feel about it I am yet to try the men version of it but you know I don't think they'd be too far from each other I think sometimes perfumers rearrange the ingredients the same ingredients to create a male and female version of a perfume definitely unisex I mean you can't go wrong with just a clean scent another really popular fragrance that I feel is more appreciated by women is more spoken about by women but is definitely unisex in my opinion that is Baccarat Rouge 540 there is the EDP and there's the egg stripe the EDP I feel like it's like there's this salty element in there it's sweet definitely but it's got this sultry salty bitter element to it and i think is definitely unisex it's a warm and fresh scent at the same time the extra it oh my goodness definitely unisex mm. yeah like both of them have a, a sultry element to them so i think that's what makes them um, more unisex and obviously when they're spoken about in terms of women wearing them we wear them for different occasions any occasion really no matter what season they would just fit in just right and so scents like that normally that are multi-seasonal you know they tend to be 
unisex scents as well because um, you tend to wear like a winter scent that is more warm and, and dry and cozy. So more woody notes, ouds and things like that. And then there's some fresh daytime scents that also have those similar elements, you know, woody notes, um, you know, woody a little bit, and things like sandalwood are, are unisex ingredients. Even though it's a wood, but it's, it's a creamy wood, it's a sweeter wood, it's a bearable wood, and you can turn the ingredients any way you want. So that's what makes sense more unisex, and I definitely think these are unisex right here I actually have one that is advertised for women but I definitely think is unisex okay this is Coco by Chanel this is also that woody um, sandalwood unisex um, notes definitely in the dry down this is a great signature scent for men i think even though it's geared for women i have a friend who loves this as a signature scent and it smells amazing on her but i also think a man could wear it this would be like more of a, a clean spicy like balsamic more woody um notes in here so that makes it unisex look give it a try I think it's great it's a great signature scent everyday scent daytime scent nighttime scent for men and women in the same category elixir de Mave, this is ambery goodness i feel like ember is also one of those notes that are unisex because it's dry and warm at the same time it's creamy at the same time when you add it with like sandalwood and and like some florals in there as well and there's a bit of orange goodness in here as well so um it makes it brighter and not too woody and too dark so it's great for women and men signature scent for a man definitely or a special occasion i think this would be nice sitting in a restaurant and a man just comes in walks by me this will smell really amazing so yeah definitely unisex and for women this is a more like mature but not mature as in age just more not a young girl type of scent yeah definitely unisex amouage journey this is lovely this would be a great unisex scent okay so this has tobacco mask you know so those ingredients typically can be used as unisex fragrance ingredient this is like his and hers you know how you, how you have that his and hers sink in the bathroom his and hers whatever this this is one of the his and hers i think this is just a special occasions night out or a sophisticated dinner date couples date it has like neroli leather tobacco when you have ingredients like that and you add like sandalwood or vanilla then you end up with unisex fragrance it's not like you have leather all by itself and you add gayak wood or cedar wood oil and that perfume would most likely just be for men but when you add you know like sweeter ingredients you've got your vanillas your sandalwoods like I said your bergamot oil maybe some fruit in there um, to add like a warm sweet fruity element into the fragrance then you end up with more unisex to female scents Amour's journey is a great unisex fragrance it's a his and hers like I was saying on a double date like a sophisticated double date you and your husband partner whoever your other half both could wear this out so yes so mask Milano has this fragrance called love kills it's a new acquisition it has this embery feeling to it as well so I definitely think this is unisex something sweet about it something earthy about it something animalic about it but men and women i think it would be great i feel like it's most spoken about by females but oh there's this african geranium yeah there's this oddness it has it's just so weird <laughs> but i like it and i do think it's unisex so love kills we're getting warmer and warmer and this is intense cafe 
it smells like a little bit of coffee and cream vanilla i definitely think it's unisex i have only worn this a couple of times i wear it in more cooler weather but i feel like a man could wear this in cooler weather but daytime and nighttime and as a signature scent as well because there's something really sweet and desserty about it it smells like i said like a bit of coffee like a bit of chocolate a bit of cream but yeah it's definitely there's something dark about it that makes it perfect for unisex use amande tonka by elisab <laughs> woods and you know tonka bean goodness vanilla and i definitely think it's unisex um for a woman i think this is a little bit edgy this is a little bit of a tough tough woman um statement making type of perfume but for a man i think this is like when he's just dressed up ready to go yeah it's definitely more masculine than feminine but unisex there is no way i would not talk about nirvana black by elizabeth and james they actually have a wide range of perfumes in this collection but this is the one that i have i feel like this is one of the most unisex ones in the range they have the others that are geared towards more females and others geared towards men but this is more unisex in my opinion my next perfume is jazz club by maison magella it is part of the replica line i feel like this is a perfect unisex scent because i really enjoyed smelling it and i do hope to own it one day replica fragrances are um, part of a range of fragrances by maison magella i'll put the bottle up here you might recognize it and they basically replicate or try to impersonate experiences locations and things like that so one of the ones that they own that i own is fireplace which you have seen me mention on this channel but today i'm going to talk about jazz club which is one of the perfumes in the in the replica range so that one is also unisex because the notes are just geared to male and females i think it just depends how you wear it so it's got um, tobacco, ambery, powdery notes. There is rum in there as well, but I feel like when they add the sweet elements, the aromatic elements, the powdery elements in the fragrance, it makes it more unisex and wearable for females as well. So I actually really think that would be a great men's fragrance, but for women, like I said, depending on the venue or the occasion, it would be wonderful. If you're going to like a pub or like you're going to um, a jazz club concert, definitely wear a jazz club. <laughs> you know, just picture a jazz club. Okay, you've got music, you've got people. It's got that mask and that powderiness of like a closed space environment, like crowded place. And then you've got the tobacco smell and you know people in jazz clubs are typically maybe smoking cigars and things like that do i need to go any further anyway go and try it i will put the bottle up here and i might list the perfume in the description so definitely unisex it is geared to more females i think but dominique robion fragrances i think are more unisex it just depends on personal taste but portrait of a lady is a beautiful rosy scent so I definitely think that it is unisex because the benzoin, the clove, the black currant in here makes it unisex. It's woody, um, smoky, and it has cinnamon. But you know what? It also has the rose. It has some sweet elements in here as well, and it's powdery, so it makes it unisex. Actually, yes, men have said good things about this fragrance, so I'm guessing their opinion came from them wearing it as well. So definitely unisex. Don't let the name fool you. Men can wear it as well. So another perfect example of a unisex safe fragrance is the Bewitching Yasmin from Penhaligans. This is actually geared for women. This is more advertised for women, but I actually really think this is unisex. It has, you know, um, notes of like oud, um, woods, 
balsamic, ember, coffee, and aromatic. But um, it also has incense, and also I think incense can be unisex because it's it's sort of really deep, dark, mysterious. I think that makes it unisex. Some men don't like deep dark scents. They're more into bright, fresh scents. But for those that like deep dark scents, don't shy away from the bewitching Yasmin. This is Mask Ravageur. This is by Maurice Roussel, obviously from the Frederick Mal perfume house. So this fragrance starts out with like tangerine, lavender, bergamot types of scents, which are more like feminine sounding scents and then the dry down is like cedar wood cedar wood and all that although it smells really rough really rough but it's unisex like when you read out the ingredients they sound more feminine but it's definitely unisex when you're searching for a fragrance don't necessarily look at whether it's for male or female that's also important but read the ingredients read the notes um, read the accords and see if that's something that you'd be interested in because the perfumer might have created it just for women or just for men and then the ingredients are arranged in a way that makes it wearable for females velvet rose and oud cologne intense by Jo malone i definitely think this is unisex so velvet rose and oud actually has very few and simple accords rose oud lactonic warm spicy floral surprisingly but it's also got this velvet feel to it that makes it unisex great for men as well but the rose makes it slightly palatable to women because it brings up this brightness to it definitely the oud and the velvet scents in the fragrance makes it more masculine the rose makes it more floral and brighter so yeah unisex shagaf oud by swiss arabian has interesting accords lactonic metallic oud you know and then the vanillas and the sweet aspects to it oh this is this is so nice this is like oud bouquet and definitely unisex because men and women love oud bouquet so why would we not enjoy shagaf oud the saffron and the aga wood makes it seem like it's gonna be masculine but the rose and the sweetness it it's definitely has like sweetness in it it definitely does so that makes it unisex and yeah we are just going to be outlaws and love this no matter the gender <laughs> We love this it's good now who does not know black orchid by tom ford this is a quiet taste for somebody who's new to fragrances but i'd say most likely a man would enjoy this more chances of a man enjoying this than a female um as like a first impression love it first sniff type of situation i would pick this to be an automatic male fragrance but because i have grown you know I have evolved um, I can enjoy this as well on myself it just depends I really actually would wear this in really cold weather whereas a man he can get away with this on an ordinary night out you know summer winter whatever but for me though cooler weather so yeah but definitely unisex this is Oud Majestu by Mugler it's smoky it's Oud more masculine than i would say feminine but unisex because i have known some women to enjoy this as well for me it's mainly like a winter scent this is why there's still a lot to go through as i'm maturing it's becoming more and more palatable to me it's not one that is most likable to females this is an acquired taste you need to be like more into middle eastern scents to enjoy this but definitely a like. These next scents are definitely more masculine in the unisex family. This is Oud Save the Queen, but there's Oud Save the King. I can only just imagine what Oud Save the King smells like. Do let me know if you have Oud Save the King, or if you do own Oud Save the Queen as well, let me know 
and how you enjoy it because it's kind of dry but this incense smokiness is just there's something sweet and nice about it that makes it palatable for female i'm guessing the oud save the king would be even more dry and less of the sweet um, but definitely really enjoy this as a unisex fragrance if i was sharing i would share one of this this one right here so yeah santal royale this is more of an animalic oud like this smells like dung like animal waste <laughs> a little bit this is this is a quiet taste but um i enjoy it this is why i have it there's something really nice like spicy in there it's definitely unisex just because of the ingredients it takes a certain type of woman to wear these types of animalic scents but yeah this this is more masculine than feminine i reckon oud ember woody floral this is Watan. But anyway, because of the oud and the woody notes, makes it unisex. For me, unisex scents are more cooler weather scents, unless it's definitely like a fresh, clean, spicy scent. This fragrance is earthy and floral. It's got labdanum, among other things. It might seem really confusing. Like, is this a man's fragrance? Is this a female's fragrance? It's a unisex scent. Okay, Tom Ford Noir Parfum. This is the female version. There is the Tom Ford Noir for men, and this is Tom Ford Noir Parfum for females. Honestly, this could very well be a men's fragrance. There is not too much of a difference actually between the Parfum and the Noir for men. The notes are arranged differently but similar ingredients and this is definitely unisex. I mean there's something really like a soft spicy in here that I don't think the men's one has. That's just kind of a, a different vibe, um, a little bit of a different shift but unisex lastly but not least i'm going to talk about tango in my collection this is another new acquisition from maxaroma.com it might smell like it's masculine but when you wear it and you give it a moment to settle there's something kind of sweet in the background that makes it more unisex so this is like balsamic aromatic fresh spicy ambery sweet goodness as well like the sweetness is right in the back but all those accords are unisex therefore it's a unisex fragrance wow that was such a mouthful but i'm so glad we had a sit down chat about unisex fragrances because i think that's the thing these days they market fragrances for both men and women because gears them more money i guess and people's taste is constantly changing so when you have scents that are perfect for either way then they sell more <laughs> without any more rambling Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and any other unisex fragrances that come to your mind and we can go from there. Hope to see you in my next video. Subscribe if you have not already and bye.